look like ordinary people, but they are actually Holocaust heroes. The way the Ten Booms went about hiding the Jews really interested me, because it was a different way of hiding them from the previous ways that I have seen before. I only ever saw the American side of the Holocaust, that the Americans were the only heroes because they liberated the camps. I had a hard time finding a family that hid Jews in their home. Many sites I found were just dead ends with not enough information on a family. Before I could start my project, I needed to answer a few questions. What did the layout of the house they hid Jewish people in look like? Where did they hide the Jewish people on the run at in their house? How did the Jewish people do their daily routines while hiding? How did the Ten Booms alert the Jewish people that someone was entering the house and they needed to hide? How did the people in hiding know when it was safe to come out? After doing research, I found out that this is what the layout of the house looked like. After researching, I found out that the Ten Booms made a false wall made of bricks in Cory Ten Boom's bedroom. There was a dresser that was pushed up against the wall that had a back panel of it cut out, big enough for someone to crawl under and into the hiding space. The Jewish people were not constantly in the hiding spot. They would eat, bathe, and lounge around like the Ten Boom family members would. They would also sleep in the Ten Boom family members' bedrooms at night. While being out of the hiding spot, they did need to make sure to stay away from the windows facing the street. The Ten Boom family made an alarm system to alert the Jewish people to go into hiding. There was a buzzer located at every window and door that faced the street. There was an alarm that would make a buzzing sound located in the stairway. It could only be heard from the inside of the house. They did practice drills to get everyone who needed to be hidden into the hiding place within a minute. The alarm system was also the signal that it was safe to come out. It would buzz once to signal to go into hiding and three times that it was safe. 
I tried to make the replica of the house as close to how it actually looked. I left the roof off the house so it was easier to see into. I even added the dresser and the sliding door that went into the hiding place. On February 28, 1944, the Gestapo raided the Ten Boom family home and found Dutch underground materials and extra ration cards. They did not find the six Jews that were hiding, but arrested the Ten Boom family for what they did find. In the Book Night by Eli Wiesel Eli talks about his life in the concentration camps with his father. Throughout the book, Eli loses sight of his religious faith. He also starts to consider just being on his own and not worrying about helping his father. The fact that a group of people can make life so hard for a person that they lose their faith and turn their back on the ones they love just so they can live disgusts me. After learning about the Ten Boom family and how they risked their lives to help Jews, made me feel better about humanity during the Holocaust. I realized that not everyone who was on the other side of the Jews was bad. When Casper was arrested, he was asked by a Gestapo policeman if he knew he could be killed for helping the Jews. He replied, It would be an honor to give my life for God's ancient people.